We're live in the Chicago Wholesale Deals Facebook group. Make sure the Chicago Wholesale Yeah, <clears throat> Hope you guys are well blessed. Uh, hope you guys are doing deals, closing deals, making money in real estate. Uh, that's why we do these meetings is to just uh, help you uh, earn more money in real estate investing using creative financing, creative ways. So Best Chicago Wholesale Deals Live is the Facebook group. We have over 130 plus training videos you can watch for free. I pretty much give all my content away for free. Um, you can watch it anytime there's you can go to the feature section or guide section to see all the videos here um and pretty much i answer every question you can prob prob probably think of so we just started here so best chicago wholesale deals uh we've been wholesaling we've been uh buying selling real estate for about 14 years um we've done tons of fix and flips Ton of buy and hold, Airbnbs, rent to owns, creative finance deals. So, um, if you're looking for deals in Chicago area that we have for investors, you can go to our buyers list at bestchicagowholesaledeal.com forward slash buyers. And if you need a, maybe you have a deal under contract that you need a buyer for, you can send it to us, email it to us. You can um, uh, send us all the information and we can take a look at it. If you have the deal under contract with an owner directly, or if you own the property yourself, okay. And that's why I do these meetings is I get tons of to be honest, you know, we get tons and tons of deals. Uh people just email to us or send us via Facebook just from uh these these uh trainings. So uh we get tons of deals from just getting out there, giving giving them knowledge and information, helping other people, right? But again, our Facebook group, uh, make sure you join Best Chicago Wholesale Deals Live. Uh, if you want to get started, you can get started for free. I have tons of training where you can just go on there, start watching the training, and you can get started closing deals, making offers uh, for free where you don't have to pay for any anything at all. So today we're going to go over our uh, five uh, five ways to close your first deal with no cash, no credit. Uh, this is basically our um, five offer system. So uh, we're going to go over what we do internally as a company, our five offer system, and the reason why we do this. Okay, so basically um, we have five offers. We have the wholesale cash offer. We have the sandwich rent to own offer. We have the wholesale rent to own offer, straight option. And then we do a little bit of Airbnb management right now as well. So Airbnb management as well. So um, how this works is leads come in. Um, if they have a, a ton of equity, uh, we can easily make a cash offer. Even if they have no equity, we're able, still able to get a deal. Maybe we turn it into a rent to own uh you know we've been doing a lot of just straight option and then just listing the property on the mls so if you're you're on my email list you don't see those the properties that we just get an option on and then we list on the mls uh so basically how this works is we kind of do like a hierarchy so a lead comes in we do want uh to try to get the cash offer first because we usually you can get paid in a couple weeks with a cash offer and we can wholesale to another investor and then the sandwich rent to own is the second best offer because, you know, that, that offer makes the best, uh, the most uh, profit. I'm going to break it down uh, pretty much each, each uh, offer. So sandwich rent to own offer is where basically some very similar to subject to or owner financing where you stay in the middle of a deal. And that's when you um, are, you have uh you have equity, meaning maybe the, the property is worth 300000 as is, and you you negotiated it to two seventy five, dollars right? And maybe there's cash flow. Maybe you you uh, found out you can rent it out for, 
on the retail market for two thousand a month, and you got the owner down to maybe sixteen hundred a month. So that's the reason you would stay in the middle of a sandwich rent zone. There's cash flow, there's equity, and once you have that deal, you can turn around Airbnb it. You can turn around and just put it on the market for sale, or you can turn around and just rent own it to someone else. And you're really you're you're really not coming out of pocket with anything if you do that. And then the wholesale rent to own is when we're just making a profit on the down payment. So the only profit is a down payment. So we can give the owner full retail market on price and rent. And we're basically just doing uh, an assignment of a rent to own agreement. So our only profit is a down payment. So we can get a buyer to come in at ten thousand down, and the owner agreed to maybe two thousand down. We can create a spread there. Right. And then straight option is where we uh, agree on a price with the owner and they let it, they agree to let us list the property for sale and put it on the MLS. Uh, we've been doing a lot, a lot of those more often lately. And then Airbnb management is where we basically manage an Airbnb and we're getting about 20 percent to 30 percent of the revenue. And um, it's all negotiable. We had some deals where the owner gets the first two thousand. And then after that, we split it 50 50. So you, you can negotiate however you want with the management fee. But basically, all these offers to wholesale a property, you just got to get it under contract. And then you're finding a buyer that's going to pay more. So you're not really, you're not, you're not getting into debt. You're not uh, getting a mortgage. You're not the one putting the cash up. It's the end buyer. And then the sandwich rent to own. If you do a true sandwich rent to own, where you rent to own it and then rent to own it to another person. You stay in the middle of that deal where you're not coming out of pocket with any cash or getting your credit check because you're not uh, you're not the one staying in the property. It's someone else. Right. So uh, uh, these all these strategies require no cash, uh, no getting into debt, no getting your uh, credit checked. Um, and you can use these five different offers that we use every day. So every day, like the reason why. um we have these five different offers is, is because uh, is because every lead is different, right? Some leads will, some leads have a ton of equity and they're okay with doing the cash offer and it works for them and, and, and they're okay with, with the offer. But there's a, most of the leads uh, that come in are going to have zero equity or very little equity. So basically you want to be able to help every seller that comes across your table, right? Because, um, you know, if I, if I told you like, Hey, you know, in the next, uh, like for, for, for example, for us, we make about 30,000 a month in profit through, uh, through sandwich rent to own Airbnb. And then we turn around Airbnb it or Airbnb and Airbnb management together. So, so, um, you know, just through those, just through that alone, I don't have to close another wholesale deal or a listing this month because I have enough cash flow coming in. Where it, it doesn't matter if I close the deal or not because uh, I have enough cash flow coming in that pays for all my pays for everything, all my living expenses, right? And that's where you want to be. You want to be at that point where uh, you, you wake up, you have a lot of cash flowing, maybe rent to owns or Airbnbs, and you don't have to close a wholesale deal. You don't have to have to close a straight option listing. You don't have to close any deal this month because you have that cash flow that you created from uh, from the cash flowing assets like rent to own or Airbnb. And that's where you want to be. At. You want to be at that point where you wake up and, hey, I don't have to work today because I have the cash flow that's coming. I know the cash flow is coming in. Right. And with wholesale offer, with the straight option offer, that's always you're going to have to work. You, you, you're going to have to work. Get that deal closed, and once it's closed, and you made your ten grand, guess what? You got to go find another one, right? But if you pick up sandwich rent to owns, you pick up Airbnbs, and you eventually get to ten, maybe twelve Airbnbs, or or maybe sandwich rent to owns, guess what? You know that's making maybe hopefully that's making ten grand a month for you. And now you now you're at that point where hey, I don't have to wholesale a deal, I don't have to get any more listings, I have enough cash flow coming in, right? So let me just kind of break it down on how uh, the formula, let me just go through the, the what I want to do is break it down on uh, the formula, how the, how the formula works. So if you're not familiar with wholesaling, basically you're going to, you're going to find, you're going to, you're going to get the after rehab value. So you're going to find the, 
maybe three to four highest sold comps in the area within six months that sold within about half a mile to a mile radius. Let me uh pull up my notepad real quick. So every lead that comes in, we kind of put them through this funnel on what is the best offer for them. So the wholesale, so the wholesale offer, you take the after rehab value. Um, I have tons of training on that, on this, how to get after rehab value. It's pretty simple once you understand it. But if you go through my Facebook group and go to um, how to always make the right offer, wholesale offer, you'll you'll want you'll see tons of training on how to get after rehab value. So basically, you're getting the same uh, comps appraisers would use sold in the last six months within about a half mile radius. And you're getting the, maybe the three or four highest sold comps and you're getting the average. So that's called the after rehab value, the price the property is worth after it's fixed up. So let's just do for easy sake, it's a hundred thousand you find out, right? And then you take 70%, 70% of that. So you do times 0.7. Right, and you got seventy thousand minus the rehab costs. And everyone does this a little differently. We do it basically based upon the condition. So we're at, you know, if it is if it's like a total gut rehab, we're at about forty dollars a square foot now. If it's uh, uh, cosmetic, we're at about uh, anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars a square foot. If we're if it's moving ready, we're at like ten dollars a square foot. So whatever the rehab cost. So for this sake, let's say it's um twenty thousand. Maybe it's a cosmetic rehab, right? So the most an investor would pay for this deal is fifty thousand, and then your wholesale fee, what you want to make. Let's say you want to make ten thousand a deal. That's what I want to make. That's forty thousand. So your maximum. Your maximum allowable offer on this deal would be uh, 40. So MAO's maximum allowable offer would be 40,000, right? So to get um, sandwich rent to own offer, it's pretty simple. You just take, all you really need is ARV and the rehab costs. So you take the sandwich rent to own. So instead of 70%, so sandwich rent to own, how we do it is we're basically at 0.85, 85 instead of uh, 0.7. So there's still 15% of equity in the offer. There's still going to be equity in there. So it's 85,000 minus the rehab. We're at 65,000. And then minus your wholesale fee um, or minus the fee you want to make, you're still at 50. So we're at 55. So you see that? The price went up 15000 on the sandwich rent to own. And then for sandwich rent to own, you also need to negotiate the uh, the market rent. So you you're going to go to Zillow. Just go to Zillow uh, rental calculator. If you type that in, you can plug in the address. It'll give you the market rent. So you need to find out you know the market rent, which you want to pay per month. So usually I'll take... Uh, bare minimum i would want at least 500 a month in in the market rent so market rent is 1500 i'm going to offer this guy a thousand dollars per month okay and then the term how long is the how many years typically i want to do three years or more on the term and then the next offer would be wholesale rent to own which is your only profit is the down payment. And then there's also, again, right here, you want to negotiate the down payment. The goal is to get down payment to zero, or let's say you, you just get like one month's rent. So you're going to give the down payment of 1,000 here. So let's say this, let's say you made a sandwich rent to an offer, the owner rejected. So if I'm going to do a wholesale rent to own, I can give them full retail price. So I'm not taking any of the, 85% off. I'm not taking any equity out, right? So I, I have a hundred thousand. Let's say it needs twenty thousand in rehab. So we're at eighty minus our ten thousand dollar wholesale fee. So now we're at seventy. So you see the price just keeps going up. So we kind of have a hierarchy. 
we have a hierarchy of the price. Uh, we start with the wholesale rent to own. If they reject it, then we'll move on to the sandwich rent to own. If they reject that, then we'll move on to the wholesale rent to own. And then we have also the straight option offer. So straight option. On this right straight option here, you take uh, basically the ARV times uh, 0.94% because you got to pay, uh, you're going to list it. So you got to pay a broker's agent at least 3%, right? A buyer, buying agent, right? You got to pay them at least 3%. And then you subtract out the uh, rehab costs here, 74000 then you subtract out the fee that you want to uh, to make here. You want to make ten thousand, so we're at sixty four. So straight option, we agree to with the owner. Hey, we'll uh, you'll net sixty four thousand. We'll list it on the market. We'll add our our, our uh, commission on top, our fee on top, and then uh, you can list it for seventy four for eighty thousand. If it sells, you have that spread there, right? So what we do. Every deal that comes in, if it's uh, if a deal that comes in is uh, in great condition, I mean, let's go back. If the deal comes in, it's a total gut rehab, meaning that uh, it's not livable. You can't rent it out. You can't Airbnb it. So we're going to X out these two, and we're only going to do the straight option and the wholesale. Now, if the property comes in and it's in great condition, you can live in it. You can rent it out as is. We're going to go ahead and make all the five different offers. We're going to make the wholesale offer. We're going to make the sandwich rent own offer. We're going to make the wholesale. We're going to make the straight option offer. And then we're also going to make the uh, B&B offer to manage it. So, and then the Airbnb offer, like I said, it could be 20% to 30% of revenue. It could be uh, uh, any, it's negotiable, anything you negotiate. You know, we even done it where we pay for the, we'll, we'll, we'll pay for the furniture for the owner to furnish it. And then uh, we'll just get the money back from the first reservations and we'll turn around Airbnb. So if it makes sense, like, let's say you see, you can make like two grand a month uh, in profit for your, your management fee. Why not invest the money? Maybe you got to invest eight grand or so and have the owner sign maybe a two year agreement or a one year agreement and you just manage the property on Airbnb. And Airbnb management, uh, to learn to learn that, just go to the Facebook group, go to a uh, featured or guide section. And then I have some training on how to, how to run your own like Airbnb management. And then all these offers, I know I'm kind of going fast through this, but I have very detailed training on each individual offer. If you just go in the Facebook group and go into sandwich rent to own just search it and then boom you'll find it very deep more detailed because I, I can go into like a two three out three hours of training on each individual offer right um but that's what that's what we do so basically lead comes in uh if it you know we determine hey total gut rehab so I only could do the wholesale only could do the straight options so these are my only two offers and then if it's uh if it's a property in great condition, we can we can rent it out as is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make all the offers that we can make, right? And then there's gonna be situations. Um, there's gonna be situations where, let's say you're gonna make this forty thousand dollar wholesale offer, but they owe a hundred thousand dollars on their mortgage, right? So sometimes we're gonna skip this, right? We're gonna go straight to maybe the straight option offer, right? So if they owe, you know, if they owe most 99% of sellers are not going to come out of pocket to close their deal, right? And how do you find out how much they owe? You can go to uh, PropWire. PropWire.com is free. Just type in the address, and then it's going to tell you the mortgage amount and how much is owed on it. Um, if you just go to PropWire.com, and you can find out find out there what's owed exactly, right? But the reason we do this is, um, like I said, you know, I've done thousands of wholesales and listings, uh, deals that we've closed. Uh, but the best thing is like, 
when you don't have to work like right now i probably work a couple hours a day every day i don't i don't work i'm not that i'm not i used to be the guy that always always working 16 hour days 20 hour days right and it's from deal to deal you know the more deals you want to do the more work you got to put in even though even though uh, um you know i did have a pretty big team when i was working 16 hours a day um I, I, I always had to close more deals to keep up with the debt that I had going on. Right. Uh, but today it's like, Hey, I, you know, I don't have to close a deal anymore. Cause I, I, what I did is I picked up a lot of sandwich rent to owns and, and Airbnbs uh, that we manage. And they're either a sandwich rent to own or Airbnb that is cash flowing. And now I don't have to work, work that much anymore. Right. And that's where you want to be. You want to be at that point where, Hey, I can wake up today and, and take the whole day off spend time with my kids, my family, spend time with it. And that's, that's what this does, right? Like, like wholesales and straight options where you list it are great. You can make a lot of money, but they're one transaction and they're done, right? You want the consistent cash flow where you're getting paid every month, every week. And then that way you don't have to worry about the next deal closing. Right. Uh, so I always tell everyone like, Hey, you know, like if you're just out there, maybe you're a realtor, maybe you're a wholesaler, and you're out there and you all you do is make a wholesale offer and all you do is offer to list properties and you're not putting in these other offers where you can potentially cash flow the property um you're probably missing out on a lot of money right like like for me if i didn't if, if i didn't do that i'll be missing out like 30,000 a month right and, and profit coming in so i mean if i didn't make these different offers right so you want to get to that point where you're you, you know like uh Every deal, you got to be like a transaction engineer, find out which offer is best for them and find out which is a win-win for you as well. And and the goal is, um, the goal too with this five offer system we have going on here is not to confuse you. It's basically to provide more value to the your client, the seller. The sellers are basically your client, right? So you're providing them more value value than anyone else. You're giving them more options. You're loving them more than anyone else. You're giving them a better service because, you know, most sellers, like, for example, we did, we helped quite a few sellers where they were in pre-foreclosure and the wholesale didn't work. Uh, they were actually um, upside down a little bit. So the straight option didn't work. We, we tried listing it for them. It didn't sell uh, because it was priced too high. So we, we turned around and just like started Airbnb in their rooms in their home. Right. So we, we managed it for them for six, seven months, about a, a few deals. And then they were able to catch up on their uh, mortgage payments and were able to to uh, uh, they eventually uh, uh, stopped the Airbnb because they made enough money where where uh, uh, the cash flow from renting the rooms in their house made enough money that they paid off all their late payments. Right. And they were happy. Right. So it was like six or seven months of Airbnb management. And we we were making like five hundred to a thousand a month in in uh, cash flow on that deal. So guess what? That was like seven. You know, we made about maybe six to seven thousand dollars on that deal, and we just really helped the home homeowner avoid a foreclosure, right? So it's like a win win, right? So why not provide more value to people you're already talking to every day, rather than just I'm just going to focus on wholesale or I'm just going to focus on straight option or listing properties, right? So you you add these tools to your belt and you're just going to be able to help more people and in return of helping more people you're going to make more money right and that's our um basically an overview of our of our five offer system and i don't i you know the the whole uh subject to and owner financing or doing land contracts um yeah that works but i don't believe in getting into debt anymore so i don't i don't make those offers anymore personally can you do that yeah you can uh but but um the sandwich rent to own offer is basically the same thing as you know owner financing subject to it's basically you know if you, you record your option on title make sure that you're paying the mortgage directly uh, guess what? You don't have to, you. Uh, it's the same control as ownership, right? Sandwich rent to own. You can turn around and like we we've done deals where we got the contract signed uh, today, and then 
next week we had it listed on the MLS for 30,000 higher than uh, we had the contract for, And we put it on Airbnb at the same time and it was cash flowing while it's for sale. So it's the same thing as ownership. As long as you got the right contracts, it's just basically a uh, um, same thing as the owner finance and land contract. And the beauty about uh, rent to own is that you have an option to buy. So you're not locked in. Like if let's say, you know, you get stuck in a property and it starts uh, negative cash flowing for whatever reason. And let's say the market, you know, a recession hits, the, the prices plummet and it's now, you know, now it's underwater. Now you're stuck with that property, right? With rent to own, we have agreements where uh, it's an option to buy. It, we're not obligated to buy, right? So you can get out of the contract. The subject to, you're now on title, you're now the owner. So you're going to be the one getting uh, uh uh, you're the one going to be. Uh, ha you have to sell the property, or you have to do a short sale, or you have to get it foreclosed on, right? If you, if you if you can't, if it starts, the cash flow starts getting negative, right? So, <clears throat> uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you're gonna need a mentorship or partner, uh, that's what we do. Uh, learn how to flip the cash flow houses without cash, without getting debt. Uh using kingdom principles you can get debt free financially free so you can be a blessing to everyone around you we have like a 90 minute presentation you can check out if you're interested in that uh but like i said all my content i give for free you can just go to the facebook group uh basically these are, these are for people that need more of like the hand holding you need uh, uh someone that you can text and call and email like that's what we do you know i make myself available uh, for Zoom calls to uh, to handhold people, to to mentor them, and to get you to the closing table on deals, and we partner on deals as well. It's optional to to do the uh, partnership with us. We do split profits 50-50, uh, but it, basically, if you need more of the handholding, we do that uh, as well. So if you have any questions, just reach out. In my number, you can text, call, <clears throat> email. Uh, you can DM me on Facebook. Uh, so we're getting we're in the in the uh, uh, series like uh, laws of financial freedom. What God says. So basically, uh, before I was that guy that would get in massive amounts of debt. I would just refinance, refinance, refinance to get more debt to buy more properties. And I thought I was uh, some big shot, right? Like I had, I literally had like close to eighty Airbnbs that I actually owned. And, uh, you know, COVID hit and I was like, it was, you know, like, and there's a lot of people like that. They have hundreds of buildings that they own and they have so much debt that they don't really make any money. Right. And that was me at that point. I was like literally negative, almost uh, a ton of money every month that I, I pretty much, uh, you know, I was that motivated seller that was in distress because I needed to get rid of all these properties that were not cash flow anymore, right? The laws of sowing and reaping. Well, first of all, sowing and reaping, uh, first and foremost is sowing and reaping the word of God or the gospel to other people. Like, uh, that's what we should be doing as, as Christians on a daily basis. That's why I do this. It's like, hey, it's like sowing and reaping is, hey, the gospel, meaning that, hey, what's the gospel? is hey, God came. Here on earth, he died for us and he showed us the way, the way we should be living, the way uh, to heaven, basically, is just believe, have faith in his son that died for us. And that's sowing, that's the, the real sowing and reaping, that's what's in the Bible. But sowing and reaping can be applied to every aspect of our life, as far as business, as far as uh, good marriage, good health. Uh, and there's tons of principles in the Bible about how to have a successful business using God's uh, God's laws in the Bible. Ecclesiastes 11.4 says, uh, those who wait for the perfect weather will never plant seeds. Those who look at every cloud will never harvest crops. So don't wait for perfect time. Like a lot of people are waiting to get started and they jump all in and they're waiting for what? The recession, right? Everyone's waiting. Oh, I'm waiting for all the, the, the prices of the plummet, right? So if you're always waiting for the perfect time to jump in, you're never going to jump in, period, right? It's time to start planting now. Stop waiting for a perfect time because it's never going to happen. Um, and, and when you, you know, if you do 
miraculously you jump in in the perfect perfect time it's still not going to be the perfect time right like like uh uh um like for with me i needed to know everything before i started so it took me like years before i actually pulled the trigger because i was like that guy that was i needed everything perfect i needed the perfect website the perfect business cards the perfect everything to jump in and get started and i didn't and i wasn't comfortable getting started until i knew everything and that's that's the wrong mindset cuz i wasted years of just learning studying creating like my perfect operating agreement that never made it and a company that never made any money and and just it, it, you know make i always talk about like just you got you got the, the best thing to do in this business is start getting on the phone, start making offers with sellers. And then you're going to learn more from that than reading a book or learn listening to another training from me or anybody. Right. <clears throat> so do your planting in the morning and in the evening too. You never, you never know whether it will all grow well or whether one planting will do better than the other. Who's asked these 11 sticks. So you work in the morning, work at night, uh, you know, do your plant plant basically this business is all about you gotta look at it as planting seed, like seed form. But when I make an offer, I plant the seed. Right. That seed may not that that offer that I made today may not come to fruition today. But if I follow up with that lead in six, seven, eight months, nine months, it could be a deal, right? Like most of our deals come from follow-up. One Corinthians 911, reaping and material harvest is appropriate if we have spiritual seed among you. So uh, plant your seeds, you know, as far as business terms, planting seeds is making offers. The more offers you make, the more seeds you plant, the more money you're, and making offers is, uh, is uh, I always look at it as uh, solving a problem. Like you just made an offer to somebody to solve their problem, right? So how many problems can you try to solve today, right? So if you're never solving any problems for anybody you're never going to make money so that's the way you got to look at it. like how can i solve this problem right and and you got to look at it as it's another human being another person that has a need that, that you can help right instead of looking at it as a, oh this is just a numbers game right i make 30 offers i get one deal under contract no these are 30 human beings that have problems that you can help solve so look at it look at it that way instead of looking at them at just stats and figures and it's it it uh, that helped me a lot when I started was when I started looking at people as uh, people that I can help and not just a number. Right? Like when I started, I would just I was horrible. I, I would just make low ball offers and and just look at everyone, you know, and they would say no, and I would just follow up, and I wouldn't even try to build rapport, try to get to know them. I just made a cash offer, the wholesale cash offer, and I had nothing else after that, right? But what you want to do is is find out their problem, try to solve it as the best as you can. And the more tools, the more offers that you can uh, come up with, the the more uh, the more you're able to solve more problems, right? So to reap a harvest, I must be patient and not give up. Parable of the of uh, growing seed. So Jesus said in the Bible that if you don't understand the parable of the seed, you, you know you're not going to understand anything, right? Like this whole world was created in seed form. Like we're, we're alive because our parents had sex and there was a seed planted in a woman's, uh, you know, in a woman and all of a sudden there was a baby, right? All the food you eat, a seed was planted in the ground and then you have corn. All the animals you eat, the steak, the chicken, the chickens, same thing, they, they, they made it. There was a seed planted in the other chicken, all of a sudden there's baby chickens, right? So everything in the whole world is created in seed form. And you got to understand that. Uh, so it says in Matthew 4, 26, 8, he said that this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows. Though he does not know how, all by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel. So we, what's awesome is that we don't know, we don't know how, like, how, how does this little seed I plant it in the ground, all of a sudden the corn, we don't know how it grows. God does that, right? We just have to put it in the right soil. We got to give it the right 
nurturing, the right water, the right temperature, right? The right amount of planting, right? Same with your business. Like, like your business will grow if you put it in the right environment. The right environment is being in an environment where you're always making offers. You're always trying to solve problems. You're always trying to help people, help other people across the line, right? So put it in the right environment, right? And, and and you gotta nurture your business. It's like a it's like a baby. Like you having having a real estate business, you gotta treat it like having a baby. You have to give it your time, you have to give it your energy, you have to nurture it, water it, you have to always look at your stats, always tell everyone like the key, the key stats are like how many offers you make today, how many offers you make, you know, this week, how many offers did you make the last month, how many offers you make in the last year. And that's gonna tell you how how much money you're gonna make. If you if you and that's the the key in this, in this business is uh, uh, offers. How many offers are going? How many problems are you trying to solve every day? God's law of sowing and reaping. Uh, we must not become tired of doing good. We will never receive our harvest of eternal life at the right time if we do not give up. So Galatians six nine, uh, don't give up. Focus on the long term harvest, not the short term pleasure. Right. So. Uh, for me, it took me about uh, specifically, you know, in, with uh, wholesaling, it took me about like six months of making consistent offers every day to close my first deal. And it was like 110 plus offers before I closed my first wholesale deal. Um, so, so if I gave up, I would have never, you know, be where I'm at today. Right. So don't give up. Um, don't look at it as like a, a short term sprint but look at it as a marathon where you gotta keep going you gotta keep keep making keep solving problems keep making offers and uh keep following up you know we we had leads where it's like three years later a follow-up and we got a deal we made 20 grand right if we gave up on that lead we just threw away 20 grand right so you gotta look at it as um how can i build this it's like planting a tree, right? Like I look look at your follow look at your follow up list like planting a tree. The more I get, the more people I get in my follow up list, the more the more bigger my tree is going to get. The more, uh, uh, the more offers, the more deals I'm going to get eventually. Like you got to look at it as, but if you look at it that way, it's like, man, what am I doing for my future, right? Like, uh, you you work all day and you make your your boss rich. You come home, you you watch your favorite TV show you're making all the celebrities rich and then you watch your favorite you know basketball team or sports team and you're making all the athletes rich and and that was me every day every day you know when I was working every day that was me I was that was that's what I was doing but you gotta you gotta look at like man how can I build my future right like so you got you know shut the shut the tv off and then start making offers and maybe that offer that that problem you're trying to solve today is not a deal today, but in six months, seven months, eight months, it could be you made the offer today, and then in three years you got the deal, right? Are you could you could you be that persistent where you don't give up, where it takes you three years to close a de close that deal, right? Uh, so start planting seeds today in your business so you can reap a harvest for the long term. Ask God which areas in in your life you need a planting a seed, do something today, today that moves towards planting seeds. Do not wait another day to get started sowing and reaping. Like I said, if you're waiting for the perfect time, the perfect recession, the perfect timing, you're never going to get started. So the best time to start is now, right? Ask God to help you plant good seeds in some of the most important aspects of your life. And this is, like I said, planting seeds for your marriage, for your children for for everything this 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 parable of planting seeds that jesus taught us he said if you don't understand this how are you gonna understand anything right so uh plant seeds in your relationships your your time with god prayer reading the bible reading the word of god the most important thing is in my opinion is getting to know god more every day uh and becoming more like Christ every day. That's our purpose. That's why God created us is to become more like him every day. So the only way we can do that is we get to know him more. The only way we can get to know him more is getting into the Bible, getting into the word of God and reading it every day.
Pray that God will give you the patience to wait for God to grow a harvest. We have planted a seed because you know what God has promised in his word. Thank him ahead of time for the fruit he will bring into your life through the seeds you're planting. So we just want to uh, thank you guys for joining. Uh, God bless you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hope this helped you guys. And uh, for the members, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow in the membership area. God bless.